Welcome to Wonderland Sweden. My name's Rebecca and I create educational tools with the help of my Xtool P2 and Creative Space. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's begin. So I'm just making some feelings cards for preschool. Uh, so basically this is the sign language and the name in Swedish and then a face smiley to represent each feeling. So with this picture here for, for Grumpy, I've got the picture but I didn't like the actual circle outline because it was too thick. So of course I could just copy and paste uh, this one. But I'm just going to show you two different ways of how I would do it. So all of the circles, you can check them here. 100 millimeters width and 100 millimeters height. So they are circles, they're not ovals. So what we can do is we can do our own little 100. Then we'll unlock the aspect ratio. So we have our 100 here. Okay, so there's two ways that we can do the inner circle for this. So we can do an outline and then we can do a negative offset. So if we're doing minus five, as you can see at the moment, this is the one that it's doing at the moment, which is the plus two. So it's not actually minus five. So you need to click on up and down for it to activate it. Okay, five was a little bit too thick. So it's just trial and error. So you can see it's updating it. So 4.5 was still a bit too thick. I'm not sure that updated. I should have minus three. Okay, minus three is perfect. Okay, so that's one way we can do it. Oh, press okay. So what we have now is that this is the outer line and this is the inner line. So it's going to be similar to this. So what I've done with the whole of this file is that obviously red is cut, blue is for the lettering and this one's not fixed yet, but the other ones are fixed. So black is just a score and orange is going to be all the same setting. So that's going to be an engrave. So of course we want to engrave this circle so to make it the most visual, visual way it would be to engrave it straight away. And as you can see, you've probably come across this, that it engraves the whole of the circle. So what you need to do is just highlight just those two bits, not the face in, in between, because then it will disappear. And you want to go into Combine here on the right hand side with the new beta version. And then you want to go into this Subtract to Overlap. So we're remembering just to highlight the two circles. And there you go. There's how to do that. The other way to do the circle would be just to quite simply just draw two individual circles. So if we do first one, 100. And then copy and paste. And then if the other one was five. I don't know if it works. We'll see if 95 works. 95. Okay, so as you can see, they're not in the middle. So what we would do here would be design, align, horizontal align center. So they will shift there in the middle and then vertical align center. So if you're happy with that, it's the same process. So engrave, it engraves it all, but it's, you can still, still see that it's highlighted both the circles. So you're just going to combine and then subtract to overlap and then you have that so what I've done with the faces is I've made sure that the the features are somewhat in the middle of the horizontal but not the vertical that I've done them differently depending on the face so what you can do is you just group these Maybe, yeah, that height looks good, I think, at the moment, anyway. So just go and 
horizontal align center. Yeah, and that's good. And then you can group all of this together again. I don't have snapping on. Um, what I've done is I've done a horizontal align center in, within this as well. So I know it's right. And then the, I don't think they're the same anymore. Let's have a check. I'll check on the Y axis 56.62. No, so they're not the same. So what I did was I aligned all of them on the y-axis. So then I could align all of the faces. So I'll just show you an example. It won't look right because it won't be right. But you can do align at the top. So then they're all on the same on the same line at the top. I'm going to go back because, yeah, it's changed. Anyway, so that's two ways that you can engrave just the outer part of the circle. Thanks for watching.